A Bertie County man is accused of breaking one of the commandments. Police say the former church treasurer stole thousands of dollars from his fellow church members. Ten on your side's Jason Marks talked with church members and has the latest from Windsor, North Carolina. Zion Bethlehem here in Windsor is a small family church. Not a lot of income coming in, and that's why for church members it is so shocking that someone so trusted could be accused of taking so much money. Our leadership is actually making sure that nothing like this happened again. What happened to Zion Bethlehem Missionary Baptist Church was a first, and church members hope a last. We're a small church and you already were struggling, and then you kind of find out that the money that you thought you had, that it was get, being misused by somebody. But not just by anyone, by someone who was trusted by the church. Members noticed missing money in the monthly statements. Church members confronted the former treasurer, 49-year-old Clarence Cherry. So he admitted that, that he had been doing it. He gave a reason that he was trying to provide, provide for his family. Court records show Cherry used a church debit card to funnel out the funds. He's accused of stealing almost $80,000 over four years. The amount was devastating, but to, to see that it had, had went on from 2008 up into 2012, it was kind of, it was devastating. So, I mean, that's the, that's the only word I can use to say it was devastating. Cherry's been charged with 51 counts of embezzlement, one for every month he allegedly used that debit card. Church members say even worse than the loss of money is the loss of trust. Which actually was a blow in the face to you because you are here trying to pay more to support your church and it actually money was being misappropriated. Church members say they'll now be more careful who's handling the money, but all they want to do is move on. We try to uh, reason with him to get him to pay the money off, and you know none of this would have happened. But he chose to, I guess, to let it go this route. Cherry will be back at the Bertie County Courthouse for a probable cause hearing later this month. For now, he remains out on bond. Reporting in Windsor, North Carolina, Jason Marks, 10 on your side.